Kids seen crying in the window, toddlers walking outside alone. For several months, nearby neighbors had their reservations about Bina's family child care. I know a lot of people at the school have said that they have reported her a couple of times. They've had toddlers wandering the streets. There would be like a little boy in that window crying and crying really loud, and my daughters would stop and stare at him. They were very concerned, and then the lady would come out. She was on the cell phone come around, look, go back in the house and shut the blinds. The director of the daycare, 50-year-old Robina Hartunian, was arrested for suspicion of child neglect and endangerment after a two-year-old girl under her care tested positive for THC. The parents of the child believe the young girl consumed marijuana while at the daycare facility. I'm just appalled that it's disgusting that this could be happening in our own backyard. Police served a search warrant at the daycare and found the facility to be in deplorable condition. There was no power, the toilets were broken, and exposed knives, dirty dishes, rodent droppings, and drug paraphernalia were also found. Code enforcement shut the place down and calls to the daycare. Please leave your message for Gubina Hartunian. Go to voicemail. And now neighbors are left wondering why something wasn't done sooner. And if I were a parent with a child in a daycare center, I would make a point of dropping in unexpectedly periodically. She just seemed like maybe in her late 50s and kind of shriveled and bitter. That was the only impression I had of her. If I was a kid, I wouldn't be excited to be there.